Hey guys, welcome to another Pathways Wrap for another week. Uh, looking back at the games just gone, we had a uh, bumper uh, weekend up against the Penrith Panthers all the way over at Penrith. Uh, it started on Thursday night with our New South Wales Cup uh, going down in a hard fought match 30 to 20 uh, in the curtain raiser out at Bluebet. Uh, we then went into Friday where we ventured out there again with our under 16 and under 18 boys development sides who had two great wins uh, on that Friday night with our 16s getting up nine tries to three and our 18s getting up over Penrith six tries to three, no goal kicking on that evening. We then ventured back out uh, on the Saturday to wrap it all up for the weekend. Uh, we saw our Tasha Gale Cup uh, come up against the Panthers in the first game out there. Uh, unfortunately, in really hot conditions, even after a tight first half, full credit, Penrith got away in that one. Our Harold Matthews Cup had a very exciting 24-all draw in the next game of the day with our penalty goal uh, after the full-time siren going, hitting the woodwork from halfway. Uh, congratulations to the boys walking away with the one point there. Our SG Ball uh, then got into a uh, bit of a seesawing game with the Panthers uh, in the next contest. Uh, after leading 22-10 uh, in that one, unfortunately, uh, the boys only had 13 fit players available to play the second half, and Penrith uh, just too much, uh, too much strength, too much power, uh, getting away with the win in the end. Uh, the weekend was wrapped up then with our Jersey flag uh, having a great uh, one-all thriller, uh, getting up 17-16 uh, to end our results for the weekend. Uh, look at our feature this week. Uh, I did mention, obviously, our SG Ball having a, another tough loss on the weekend with only uh, no bench players in the second half. It's kind of summed up a bit of a tough season that that group's having, uh, having multiple injuries and suspensions across the season. Uh, they have had a really tough start uh, to their campaign. Recently, we caught up with head coach John Sutton and standing captain TJ Herring just to see how that team's travelling as they come into the back end. TJ Herring from the Beacon Hill Bears, and I'll play hooker. It's been an awesome opportunity for me and I'm really privileged to obviously get the opportunity at South and I've loved every minute of it. Sato gave me the opportunity in the trials to get, um, just to lead the team which was a huge honour for me and I was considering it's only my second he year here. Yeah, I think the boys are always trying, like every week they're always putting in the efforts there. Yeah, I think I've been really impressed with the boys who have come in. Obviously we've had a lot of injuries to start the season and yeah, just really proud of the boys and coming together and really working hard. Yeah, just try to put a few wins together. But the boys just keep putting in. I know we'll get the results in the next few games. Hopefully play NRL, that's always the big plan. But hopefully finish off the season this year. Um, we've had a tough start and a tough draw. And we haven't won a game yet, but hopefully changes around for the rest of the year and get a few wins under our belt. Great to hear from uh, Sato and young TJ there. As I said, it's been a tough season for those boys, but they've never stopped trying. They've got three games left, all here at Redfern, so hopefully members can get out and try and support those boys uh, to snag a couple of wins before their campaign finishes. Uh, looking forward to games uh, this weekend. Uh, again, a lot of venues, a uh, lot of different uh, opponents, but plenty of footy to get out and watch locally. Uh, it starts at Friday night down at Marcelin Fields, Maroubra. Uh, where you can see our Lisa Fiola under-17 girls up against the Cronulla Sharks and our under-16 dev team uh, coming off their great win out at Penrith coming up against uh, the under-16 Balmain dev. Uh, we then look at Saturday uh, where we have uh, a bumper day at Redfern Over with four games of footy. Uh, our Tasha Gale uh, up against the Indigenous Academy. Our Harvey Norman Women's are fresh off the bye coming up against the Central Coast Roosters. And also our Harold Matz and our SG continue to uh, get their campaigns going up against the Belmain Tigers. And then we wrap out a massive weekend out at Sunday at Wentworth Park uh, with our Jersey flag fresh off that win over the Panthers up against another winning team at the moment in the Roosters uh, in the Jersey flag contest. And for the first time in over a decade, our New South Wales Cup, uh, Sydney Roosters will take on the South Sydney Rabbitohs, both clubs back in that competition for the first time in a long time. And we're excited to see how that wraps out the weekend. As always, with all those different venues and uh, games going on, please check out our website closer for any kickoff details.